All right. Another um, solving for systems of equations by substitution situation you'll see is when you're given only one of these equations in slope intercept form and you need to solve for the missing variables. So y is already solved for. It already tells me that that's x minus 2. So all I'm going to do is replace y with what it tells me y is. This is just going to replace this. So 2x, nothing happens to it, plus y. Well, what is y? It's x minus 2 is equal to 4. All right, now I can look at the left side of my equation. Because remember, the equals, you can't just be moving stuff around. So let me look. I have an x and an x. Positive 2 plus 1 equals positive 3x. I can't do anything with that 2. I'm going to put it right there. Well, I have a variable on one side and a number on another. I need to get this guy over here. I'm just trying to get this x alone. So I have to get the straggler out first. So I'm going to add 2 to each side because this is a negative 2. Adding it will inverse it, getting rid of this. And I'll be left with 3x is equal to 4 plus 2, which is 6. Now I need to divide. Again, the 3 and the x are together by multiplication. The inverse of that is division. x is equal to 2. And again, that does not mean I'm done. It means I come back up here. So if I change, my x value is 2. My x is here. I'm going to erase this and put the 2 that I figured out. 2 minus 2 is 0. y should equal 0. So the coordinates I should be working with are 2 comma 0. Let's see if that works. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. I've checked it in both systems. I have it as a coordinate, and I'm done. And that is an example if you're given one equation with slope-intercept that you can just plug in.